Hi everyone, it's Deanna with Deanna's Paper Crafts and I wanted to just um, do this quick tutorial on more features that you can use with um, the patterns feature in Design Space. So I've got a, a, a image here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and select just the orange layer and I'm going to tell it to print that I want it to print and then I'm going to tell it that I want to add a pattern. So we'll add this blue pattern. There we go. Now, on this yellow one, we're going to tell it to print and that we want to add a pattern. And let's come down here. I don't really want one of the Christmas ones. There we go. Okay, so now, whoops. Um, the other thing you can do down with patterns is if you look down here, there's collections, which if you click on that, gives you different um, types of uh, patterns and different types of themes. You can filter it so you can. Just look up the patterns that you've up that you own. Look at patterns you've uploaded. Look at ones you've purchased. Ones that are just part of the subscriptions or ones that are free. And then you can edit them. And so this now you can use this little slider bar here to resize your pattern. If you look at the orange dots. See they're getting bigger. And if I go the other way, whoops lost it, it got smaller. Now you can also, let's make it a little bigger so you can see what I'm doing. On the horizontal um, edit, so you can change the horizontal position of your, your patterns. You can also change the vertical position on where they are. You can rotate your pattern, and you can mirror your pattern. So those are all things that you can do under the pattern section when you're working with a pattern. The other thing I wanted to show you, um, well, let's finish this one. So now what I want to do is I'm going to group this. this image here, select it all, and flatten it, and then it'll print as one image like it originally was on the board with. Okay, now this other image, what I want to show you here is, um, let's do this. So let's go to Upload Images, and instead of uploading an image, we're going to upload a pattern fill. So we click on Upload Pattern, and we browse for the patterns and here's a bunch of free patterns that I got from Melody Lane Designs so if you go to MelodyLaneDesigns.com she has um, all kinds of hand painted backgrounds and she has in her catalog um, some free ones and so that's what I downloaded here was the free samples so <clears throat> say we want this green one here I can click on it and say open. And you can see my patterns right here and I can give it you know a title if I want. Um, it's multicolored and then say save. And this can take a little bit, so just be patient, but it does save it. Here, and you can see it says our, your uploaded pattern can be found in the pattern section. So now let's go to our mat. Okay, let's go back to our mat. Oh, okay, 
Okay, well, let's insert an image. I'll insert that image again. Whoops, if I can type. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, cartridges, sorry. search by the name of Cricket because it's these both of these images come from the Cricket Essentials cartridge which is part of the subscription right here so let's load this image again we've already got it once but we'll load it again and I'm going to just delete it because I need to get back to my mat okay so what I'm going to do now is um, highlight the orange layer and say print and patterns and then I'm going to go down here and filter the patterns by those that I've uploaded you see here's and I, you can tell I've uploaded four of them here's the one we just uploaded so we can do that click on double click on that and it will change the um, yellow layer or not the yellow layer the orange layer and then we can come up here and highlight this layer say print and patterns and then say we want to use this one we double click on that there we go so now you can see we've changed this completely and then again um, you can clear your filter, clear all down here, clear your filter so that there's no check marks here if you want to go back and see all of the patterns that are available to you. Now one other trick um, that I learned is I can highlight this, whoops, and go to patterns. Okay, and down here there's a restore button. If you click restore, it takes you right back to the original image. Set that one. And we will restore this. And now we're right back to the original image that we started with. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And um, watch for more tutorials to come in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye now.